A lot of people are saying, the division, will it fail? Personally, I think it won't actually. I think it'll do very well in the right audience that it's targeting, like Dispatch. myself. This is Division Agent Fei Lau, empowered and authorized by Executive Order and DHS Directive 51. Whoever you are, we're under an all-out assault. I'm not sure how much help you... Oh, oh, screw it, we'll take anything you can give us. Now, how are you on my comms? We've got your back. Just try not to shoot at anyone who's trying to help you. Over. Alert. Patching into local GTF radio channels. Unit 43, be advised, you have incoming division agents as backup to your location. It's about damn time you get us some help. Get us there right now. Foster, we need support on the stairs. Martinez, move up on the flank. Go, go, go. Come on, you motherfuckers. Oh, Sean Poole. Spool is in the game! This gun's way more better at managing recoil if you tap it. It's good range as well, this version. Oh, he's friendly, what am I doing? But first, there's a baseball cap I must have. Yeah. Situation outside is now under control. My official report, the division saved our sorry asses. Thanks for the report, Bravo Squad. Uh, stay alert out there and keep it frosty. I'm glad you made it. Now let's rebuild our base. Go on in and have a look around. I finally got some transportation, so I'm inbound. So this let's is basically your central hub. Your own personal space. Air ventilation They're only visible to you if you and me. Contamination levels so. lowered. Agent, we need our base up and running, and we need to show the people of New York they're getting their city back. Our base of operations has potential, but right now it's a piece of shit and we've got no one to staff it. To get this place where it needs to be, we need people who know what they're doing. Like doctors, there's a virologist running a field hospital over at Madison Square Garden, but the whole area has gone to shit. With her, we can get our medical facilities online. Without her... The JTF commander, Benitez, is out in the field, and he's gone offline. Bring him back. We need him to set up a functional security wing, and it'll do a hell of a lot for morale. We've also got to restore basic services. We need power, and the intel the grid can give us. They had a guy working on that, but it sounds like he ran into trouble. I'm wondering, no. Without him, it's lights out. The only thing you can build in the Alpha was the medical bay, and you couldn't improve it. Isaac can map itself to each of the wings in the base and it's sync craft the progress, so we can have Fuck. a bigger picture of what's happening here. And the more stable this base is, the better shape the city well, will I'm be I'm level in. 5 now, so I'm doing my abilities. There's a cool pattern on it, actually. I like that. I am the new Aiden Pierce. Um, yeah, I don't know how much we're going to be able to do, but... The medical wing is a wreck right now. Once we get that virologist over here, we can build up a staff, investigate the origin of the virus, and start getting more supplies. For civilians, but for us as well. I can see the medical wing only being... I can see it being exactly the same as the Alpha. Complete the main mission in the hospital, which is across the road. It's a big mission with a boss and everything. Um... Security wing, you can't do anything and stuff like that. This is what I'm seeing happen. You know. Security wing needs some love. And Captain Benitez. The JTF loved the guy. He can mobilize them and help us get the intel and yeah, not available in the beta. get all these hostels off the streets. The tech wing has obviously seen better days. But if you can get Rhodes back here, he's apparently got a lot of tricks uh, up his not sleeve. Not in the beta. Former PMC, I think. Knows more than you think he does. I suspect he'll be very useful. Hey, bad news. I'm not gonna be able to get out there. Not with my goddamn leg like this. I'll do what I can from here, but it's not the same. You have no idea how much I wanted to be in the field. I trained for a scenario like this my entire life. 
But it's worse than anything we could have imagined. You know how they won't let you get too close to anyone, so it won't mess you up when you're finally activated? Well, I did that, and it didn't fucking work. I'm attached. These are my people. This is my city. We're taking it back. Oh. Look, you need to... Yeah, okay. Okay. They're counting on us. Let's not let them down. Yeah, the first cutscene when you're in the helicopter is not the first cutscene of the game. They just cut a lot of story stuff out so they wouldn't spoil it, which I actually appreciate, so thank you, Ubisoft. Uh, especially if you buy in the game, you know. Let's restock, get some ammo, and then we'll go sell hey, some shit. Away. I'm not walking away, I'm selling you shit, bro. So you're a division agent, huh? Great. Now, uh, don't dwell on all the death and carnage around you or the fact that so many have tried to do what you're about to Update my map with objectives and things, you see. Surely must have been a horrible death. Sure, there they have go. more support than you do now, but so what? Fate's random and heartless. Nothing you can do about that. The thing that's pissed me off the most is I was hoping the crafting station would be available in the beta. I want to see what that's like. But I'll let you know what we got. If they have a good crafting system, that would entice you to buy the game, right? But then again, you can only get the beta if you pre-ordered, so that kind of makes sense. You're already planning on buying the game. So let's go back out into the fray. Once more into the fray. Could have warned me, Jesus! 